What's up guys, Rob here at Mishimoto, back with another first impressions video on our 2016 Focus RS. We've got the hood popped on this thing, we're going to go through the whole engine and drivetrain and show you some of the special systems that Ford put together for us. So looking under the hood here, it does look very similar to the Focus ST, however, it's a completely different power plant. First thing you'll notice obviously is the RS branded intake and intake piping. The big difference though is underneath this plastic cover. We have a 2.3 liter turbocharged four cylinder that's shared with the Mustang EcoBoost. The difference between this and the Mustang EcoBoost engine is the twin scroll turbocharger with a larger compressor wheel. This engine is putting out 350 horsepower, which is a lot of power for a car this small. There is no automatic option in this car. This is only available in a six speed manual transmission. The gearing in the car is great, blasting down the road, you're not changing gears a lot, you're exactly where you need to be. When you're cutting corners, you don't have to be reaching down and grabbing the shifter. Uh, Ford did a really nice job with the engine and drive line in this, and they stuffed it all underneath this tiny little engine bay that we have here. All right, so up in the front grille here, we have a very large intercooler. In fact, it looks like Ford decided to actually cover some of this with an adhesive strip. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of gains we'll have by taking this off and how that will affect charge air temperatures. Ford is using GKN Driveline's Twinster differential. Now this differential right now is only available in the Focus RS and also the Range Rover Evoque. It's a really cool system. What we have is a computer controlled differential with two wet clutches and a series of valves. The computer for the diff is talking with the ECU and also the brake module to control power output to each of the rear wheels. So if we have a traction loss event on one wheel, the power can get shifted to the other one. Ford is claiming 70% of the power can get sent to the rear differential. Really what's going on here is we have a traction loss event in the front wheels. All of the power is constantly being sent back here and the differential computer is actually choosing where that power is directed. So say you throw this car into a left-hand turn and we have all of our traction on our right-hand wheel. The computer is actually able to sense that and send the power out to the wheel with the most traction. So Ford packed a lot of power under the hood of this tiny little hot hatch. In our next episode, we're gonna put this thing up on the lift, rip the wheels off, take a look at the steering suspension. <laughs> 